Hello. Along with my co-authors, Sam and Katya, I'm excited to give you a glimpse today of our paper presenting challenges and opportunities for creating agents in commercial games. Agents in commercial games are commonly created using finite state machines, behavior trees, utility systems, or planners. Recently, we have seen the potential of game-playing agents created using deep reinforcement learning and imitation learning in various challenging commercial games. This video is a recent example that shows a team of agents trained using deep reinforcement learning coordinating to play the team-based arena shooter Bleeding Edge. You can see the different characters playing together to take down the opposition. A big shout out to Project Paidea, which is a research collaboration between Microsoft Research and Ninja Theory to explore the potential for deep reinforcement learning in commercial games. You can find more information about the research at the link above. As DeepRL gains recognition within the games industry, researchers can drive its adoption by understanding what industry challenges it could best address. Conversely, the unique requirements of commercial games provide RL researchers the opportunity to understand where the technology and workflows for using it need to mature before it can be adopted more broadly. In our paper, we present a research study that aims to illuminate these challenges and opportunities as a foundation for shared progress between researchers and industry practitioners. Our research questions for this study were as follows. What opportunities exist for AI researchers to support commercial game agent creation? What practical challenges must researchers solve to build RL agents for commercial games scale? In order to answer these research questions, we used the following methodology. During our study, we collected data in the form of semi-structured interviews from 17 participants representing a spectrum of the game industry. The participants worked with AAA studios, indie studios, or industrial research labs that experimented with RL for creating game agents in commercial games. We used a qualitative methodology with a small sample size instead of large-scale surveys in order to elicit open-ended and richly detailed responses that could feasibly be analyzed by our research team. Our semi-structured interviews collected data about participant workflows, their challenges experienced, what tools were used or desired, as well as any concerns or opportunities they saw for ML in their previous projects or current workflows. However, this paper focuses on a subset of our data related to challenges experienced by game agent creators. Data collection was followed by thematic analysis where participant responses were transcribed, iteratively coded for key concepts, and hierarchically developed into themes. These themes organized the challenges experienced by the game agent creators at various stages of the game agent creation pipeline. The figure on screen shows the resulting themes relating to challenges experienced by these creators that were surfaced by our analysis. The themes highlighted in color are featured in our paper. For more detail and a synthesis of these challenges with prior research resulting in several proposed opportunities for supporting game agent creation in commercial games, please see our paper. The first theme I want to discuss relates to the challenges experienced while designing these agents. Several designers remarked about the challenge of trading designer control for stronger agent autonomy, especially if they needed to repeatedly get engineering support to shape agent behaviors. This is an opportunity to create better interfaces and fine tuning techniques to enable designers to tweak agent policies without retraining them from scratch. Other designers spoke about the challenge of creating compelling bots for players in a range of skill levels. RL agents conditioned on skill level could tweak their play style to play effectively and appropriately for different skill levels 
instead of defining agent difficulty as an expert agent with a variable degree of performance dampening. Behavioral readability, or the degree to which an agent could communicate its decision-making to players through its actions, was another challenge raised by designers. This is an opportunity for our research into policies that incorporate goal communication, exaggerated playstyles for legibility, or other secondary information about the agent's decision-making through actions rather than words. A challenge more specific to RL was that rapid ideation and design exploration were stifled by the task-oriented nature of the RL training workflows. This is a specific opportunity for RL research into interfaces and workflows to move past the limitations in design ideation and exploration with RL and instead automatically highlight interesting snippets of agent behavior or suggest similar agents without some behavior, behavioral artifact. Finally, the tension between authorial control and agent autonomy signaled a potential shift needed in design philosophy around these games. This is an exciting opportunity to invent a new design philosophy for game design with RL, understanding how the autonomy of RL agents impacts player experience and how to shape player experience effectively with these autonomous agents. The next set of challenges relates to the actual implementation and iteration over game agents during development. Several RL engineers reported the necessity of early planning and adaptation of their existing agent creation workflows to handle the training times needed for sample inefficient RL training. This highlights the need for best practices to adapt existing development practices and processes to the new RL paradigm while researchers improve RL sample efficiency. RL engineers also reported that they needed to significantly scale up their RL training infrastructure, adding parallel experimentation, fault tolerance, and performance monitoring to handle the complex commercial games that would also crash experiments sometimes due to bugs in the work in progress games. This challenge points to the need for additional best practices for navigating the complexity of running RL at scale and making training fault tolerant while sampling from complex, buggy commercial games during active development of the game environment itself. Other AI engineers raised the challenge of rapidly adapting existing agents to new contexts within their game for agent creation at scale. Generali generalization and transfer are known challenges for RL, and there is a clear use case for applying advances in this area to automatically adapt agents to, to new levels, roles, and even games within a given franchise. Finally, engineers working with AI systems, driven by lots of numeric parameters, noted the tedious, inefficient, and uncertain nature of parameter tuning that often proved challenging to achieve specific qualitative improvements in agent behaviors. This is an opportunity both for automated hyperparameter tuning, since RL also requires tuning many numeric hyperparameters, as well as for better interfaces and techniques for modifying agent policies by developers. The final set of challenges presented in this talk relate to evaluating game agents. RL engineers who were evaluating their agents using task-specific criteria, such as KD ratios or damage dealt, as well as measures of human likeness, recognized a need for measuring the player experience of playing against these agents 
as well as the need to respect compute budgets when integrated into production games. This is an opportunity for RL researchers to conduct player experience and compute budget evaluation regularly as a direct part of research best practices. There was also broad demand for automating agent testing in order to free up creator resources and scale up QA coverage of agent performance. Automated game and game agent testing at scale are huge opportunities for gaming, making use of RL and imitation learning research directly. Several engineers raised the challenge of more objectively understanding how changes made to the agents ultimately affected their agents' performance in the game, moving beyond the narrowly specific metrics and broadly subjective qualitative evaluations they were using. This is an exciting opportunity to explore new evaluation metrics, methodologies, and testing suites or frameworks for RL agents that can make it easier to compare different variants of agents more objectively. Finally, several RL creators found it challenging to interpret RL training graphs for predicting eventual agent behaviors or player experiences with the agents. This is an opportunity to create better tools to understand eventual agent behaviors and player experiences by detecting things like reward hacking, visualizing and predicting player experience measures, and creating best practices for evaluation metrics to use as a practitioner. There are many opportunities for impacting the game industry, as well as improving the underlying AI technologies that surfaced from our analysis when evaluating these specific challenges against prior research. These are some of them mentioned in this talk. Challenges in design and opportunities, opportunities for implementation, and finally, opportunities for agent evaluation. You can find out much more about all the interesting and exciting challenges and opportunities from our study as well as how they connect to current research in our paper. Our paper is available at the link shown on the screen. Thank you so much.